How's it going, PD team? I'm super excited to make this video. It's going to be covering the new Boolean tool that's been updated. I hope this is a foreshadowing of things to come with Cinema 4D, where they go through systematically through all the generator tools that are modeling specific and give them a refresh and update them to make them faster and more malleable. So in version 2025.1, the only tool that has gotten a refresh is the Boolean tool. Now, what makes this Boolean tool so powerful is that you only need one Boolean generator to create a whole plurethra of different types of cuts and merges. It's it's really powerful. So let's take a look and see how it works. Okay, so in these four examples, I've got two types of screws and two types of dice, die. And usually when you are using generators, this would require, if we look at this rounded die, you'd have one subtraction to create the rounding and then the dots. And for each of these dots, you'd need to do a separate cutout. So you'd need at least three different Boolean operations. With this one, would also be the same. And with this one, it's great because it works with Booleans and other deformers like the bevel deformer you can see on these corners. Now for the screws, this would be a complex operation of about four different Booleans generators used to create this. This was created using one. And what you can do is you can force the subsequent objects to have different Boolean operations within it. So let's see how that works. Before we get started, I want to just briefly mention that they did not get rid of the old legacy Boolean operation. If you need it, you need to load up the commander. So you can type in shift C and that brings up the commander. And then you can type in bool and you can see there's the legacy Boolean. And so it still exists within here, but they did remove it from this preset menu and also they removed it from the create menu so if you go to generators you see the boolean is not in here and so you need to bring it up it's hidden so you type in shift c for commander and just type in bool and you'll see the legacy bool okay so i've got everything used modeled out that we're going to be using for making a screw so if you see here we have a cap which is just a flipped cone set to be kind of wide and in the cone i've given it a bevel to give us just a chamfer around the edge and we have the stem and we have the threads which is just a helix and the four side gone through a sweep object and then we have the slots which is just a cross where I extruded it out and pulled down the middle point to create this slanted cross. So let's do the first operation which is going to be to merge these two together. So I'll go ahead and go here to boolean, add the cap and the stem and we'll set this to union so it merges them and that's our first operation. Now what's beautiful about this new tool is we can perform another operation within it by just adding the threads into the group and then performing a different boolean operation. Right now it's going to just keep merging all these together because we've set it to union. So I want to perform a different operation. I want to subtract from this one. So if I right click and I go to modeling, it's off screen, you get this Boolean tag. So it shows up as a tag. I'll click it. You can see here we go and it get, it'll it change the icon depending on which operation. So you can quickly look and see what it's doing. I'm going to go ahead and say subtract and there we go. Now it, it will take a second to calculate, but once it does, it's extremely fast. And then we'll do the same for the slots. And I'll go ahead and do Boolean and we're going to set this one to subtract and there we go. Now my slots need to be pulled up a little bit and there we go. So you can see as I change these, if I do intersect, you can see it shows us the intersect tag union does the union tag icon and i'll just set it to subtract and now if i go to wireframe mode you can see it's actually performing the union and the boolean operations correctly so next i want to talk about what these are for so not all the time do you need this high quality normals you can see here it messes with the fong tag a little bit so sometimes you might have this checked you can read the documentation to get further detail but the main one i want to talk about is this remove self intersections usually you'll want to check this if you have objects that are subtracting from each other where they touch each other and intersect you'll want to check that so it treats it as one object. And that is it with the Boolean. I hope that you have noticed that version 2025 has come up and is ready for updating to point one. That's it. We hope you found this useful. Thanks so much. Don't forget to like and subscribe so you don't miss out on more content. Thanks for your support.